Hello! In this video, we're going to work with more text prompts and specifically in Mid Journey. If you notice before, wherever you're working on a DALI or um, night cafe or whatever, sometimes the night prompts they transfer a little bit differently. So, this is, will be specific to Mid Journey, but it's also going to apply to different uh, engines like Stable Diffusions as well. Okay, and uh, we look on some properties that maybe you did not know we can use this one or maybe you are already aware of them, but I want just showing what we're going to do. And uh, first, what we're going to play and look on someone weights, it's creating some of these flowers. And this is a Dutch painting. Um, it's what's called Dutch painter flowers. And reason why I'm accessing this so I can kind of preview, see what I want created in some way in this style. So as usual, we'll start with easy way and we'll continue to progressing. So let's start first by very simple go inside the um, Discord for the mid journey in our robot. And we'll go with imagine. This is our first command and we'll just start Dutch. Flower painting. So we'll start with very simple and see what we will have in the result. Okay, and here's the result. So it look okay, but it's not what I wanted. It's more modern. It's not Dutch painting. So we'll need to specify a little bit more to tell engine what we wanted. And I will going with Dutch flower painting what we had before, but I want to add a little bit colorful, more in pastel colors. And you notice this is our main subject, what I want to do. And uh, We'll experiment a little bit later and I'll show how this meaning for me. I always put it this first because for me, it's a weight. It's what main main subject about rest. We'll go how we want it. I want more colors inside pastel. It's more descriptive. We'll go with the era Rococo golden era. It's a still life and about 17th century painting. So let's see what we come up with this now. I had I can tell you if you do different ways, you'll notice because we mentioned it is a painting because like we put all the stuff and even right here, you already can see we have it some borders coming and I'm sure we probably have it more painting borders again in there. And it's us progressing already. You can see it's better. Notice what's happening. I applied my pastel colors, colorful Rococo golden area. So it's going around this time reference and add more in the colors that I wanted. So except now I want a little bit more painting format. So again, we'll go with imagine. We'll cut past what we have it. And I only want to add a R it's for aspect ratio two by three. There you go. So it's kind of will be taller, more resembled to me as a painting itself. So let's go ahead and try this one now. Okay, it's look a little bit better, a little bit more painting. But again, as a painting, look, now it start adding those frames that I don't want it. I want to have a real frame, maybe if I want painting. So and we're going to do this. Imagine we'll post what before. This is, you can see dash dash AR for spec ratio two by three. This is options. So we can add another options that I don't know if you used before or not, which is exclusion. Exclusion will start with no. So I don't want it. And what I don't want it, it's a frame, no border. So you can add more than one no. And this is kind of tell computer, don't use this. Don't put it inside. Well, priorities or blending when it's happened. It does not guarantee they won't be there. However, it's dramatically reduced chance of the AI actually have those frames or borders in our image. Okay, so right here it's done. Let's look closer and how say it does not guarantee it's a frame like right here we have it one but it's reduced in three different versions we don't have it any frame so it's kind of nice but you know what it does not resemble dutch painting because let's look what we have here i specify my subject i wanted i want to specify in a way i want to this scene but i can add more reference to this so let's go ahead and first take our line that we have before right here painting copy paste inside here well actually you know what it does help if you put imagination for imagine okay right here we have it and then next actually i want to be as some of those artists and the best way to do this is reference this artist how find this just going inside dutch painting okay 
type Dutch painting flowers and right here you have a name of the painters. So Google is great tools if you use this and what we're going to do we using. So I don't recommend you to take just the one name. If you want different styles, go ahead and um, have at least like three different names maybe. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll go after this, just go and put it three names. And so this is afters and this way it's tell AI, go look on some of those styles. Um, I'll show you one thing if we don't have the styles just put it people in a second but there you go so let's go again we have it aspect ratio two by three yes and we have it no frame no border okay you can try some different ones as well and let's try this and we'll go because we can process actually three at the same time and 10 and q right now we start processing one more and I want to show you what's happening if we just take and put it only the names of the people. Seems like should work just fine this way. Yes. And just to be fair, we'll put two by three. And I will ignore frames because I, my point is not created frames at this time. But I want to show you what's happening if we have it just the names. So, of course, it will recognize, hey, it's those afters and probably will create portraits for us of them. Okay, so let's go and see. Look on this, it's already better, already in the vase, it's reference the painting, reference painters or styles, not just one, multiple, but because I put it this pastel colors, all the stuff, it's add some of my touch in that style. And it's this is the power of AI that is greatly can be utilized. It is mix of the style that you cannot do by yourself and add your personal touch. And this is bring to the point that it is not just a type of the string because you could technically just go ahead type uh some blah 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 whatever we can do this and see what's happening because you can computer try understand but if you want specific result what you see inside your mind you actually create it and you need to create the string it's not as people think put it and it's created for you well, let's go down below where I put the just names and look what's happening. Yes, it is render three person or three names. I don't know if they resemble of this pictures from real life, but it does kind of create in the style. So keep in mind, if you're using reference to specific artists, they need to have a subject up front, even in sometimes small subjects. So for example, if you go, uh, let's say a red ball, okay, we'll have it a red ball here and we'll just copy this line what we did before and we put it red ball and after we'll put it all as artists we reference that red ball up front as a main subject will should be enough for ai to recognize what it's trying to do and it's after there you go you can see it's already kind of created stuff try playing around but it's also confused because not enough information but it's try to create red ball create in the style so I say, be sure, don't just put it names of the artists you want to do. Give it subject what you want be in their style. Okay, let's go back and continue adding. Right here, we have it nice. So I created, we added what we wanted. We added what colors we wanted, era, still life, what painting around this, what reference of the artist we want to do in this case. And next, and you know what, why I keep on doing this? Okay, there you go. Okay, we'll do this and then next what i want to do it's add some more stylistic so and what i was meaning by stylistic it is i can go ahead and add more as a photorealistic ultra details 8k texture rembrandt lighting so let's look a little bit closer on all this line what we have it so dutch flower painting this is described subject describe what i want to actually to create okay next we describing how this object should look color pastel colors rococo it's baroque rococo style so it's about this era defining golden era it's here it's a still life we can move still life around but it's still descriptions kind of going more about how it's look next we have the reference to what stylization we wanted and more technical detailizations after this and this is my personal approach you can mix them together and it won't be affecting as much i played around this with different if i put photorealistic first the second so ai actually have it very nice things when text decoding and separating because i use the 
commas and periods so it's we're splitting them apart but personally for me i like to kind of separate and put like technical on the end uh more related to the image first and reference to uh stylization on the middle kind of again total my personal preference you can do whatever you want it as we're speaking let's very fast check this red ball and you can see in a stylization it done in that art so it's not just a red ball it done of the styles people who put it in okay so we're done this one let's go try next so we'll go ahead again ar let's go two by three there's a tall uh, portrait so we'll go ahead no border no uh what is a frame and this is not real different which one go first no border on the frame so they will calculate both of them about at the same time okay i think that one will should work and let's see what we come up now um as it's processing so again we'll check this and for the realistic usually i put it as give it a little bit more um real life kind of look in this case but in some, in some case, when you have it work like painting, classic painting and photorealistic, it's not necessarily will work very well together, but I notice it's give it a little bit more depth for me. So we'll check this in a second. Okay, it's done. Let's look, I'll look on this much deeper colors, more realistic. So I do like how it's processed, but we're not yet done there. Let's go upscale. And again, this is kind of thumbnails. Okay, when we upscale, we'll see more details and mid journey introduced additional algorithms of the rendering which we'll check in a second for this one uh, let's see which one i want it uh, let's go try maybe this one one and two okay let's go upscale these ones we upscale first and second so it will make a little bit bigger them okay so right here's done let's look on our upscale and you can see we had way more details on this little bit upscale but i noticed remaster its new creative kind of options actually created great images i know this is updated new algorithm which is in a painting and let's do this let's go click remaster on this remaster on that one so we have it two um you will also have it options upscale to max which is give it about similar look and we can try this one and also upscale redo and better upscale redo we just reduce some details detailizations will be almost like a wash out I think in some cases it's like stop maybe 90 percent into uh, file creation i don't know what it does but i don't actually like those two effects in this case but upscale max will give it our same look and a remaster this is and you can see new what was added and updated it actually created quite a bit quite a bit nice result and it's coming out right here as i'm speaking so we can check and remember this one and we can compare uh, you'll notice how much different it will create it from original because I think this one it's related to our image so we'll have it our representation zero zero and this one will go to our upscale on this okay let's see what we have right here we have our first image again you'll notice white kind of add elements so this is our original and right here just a blob of something when we create it let's look what the remastering did and you look on this it's actually create a cup so it's look more real okay let's go ahead upscale i want to see better details and this is our another ones it was if you remember with kind of like vase i don't know and uh, with the remastering i'll go click upscale on that one as well oops right here let's go click upscale and we'll look and you can see it's actually created the cop so it's way nicer way more details added in this case which is kind of very very nice okay and that one is our first image upscale notice as we do upscale it does add all those details but again right here we have this unrecognizable blob of something and i do like sometimes because it's looked to me more abstract paint my imagination can work and figure out what it is so i do like this original style but with upscale i'm actually quite a bit impressed how it works Okay, so right here, completed upscale, remastered and upscale. So we have this one and you notice how the details look on this. That is a great detail. So instead that blob, we have it and flowers is way more defined. If you remember before, we have this one and look how the flowers led definition. It just, uh, it's painting, but it's a little bit something. This is more accurate and this another ones 
with a much more interesting details again this is all created randomly kind of but it is allowed us to um progress so we can actually get from some variations from this if we need it but another things we can also influence our um, image and it will look right here so we'll just copy all of this and we have a test and creative this is all added so we'll just go up to this up to frame copy this one and we also can actually reference image not just for the structure but for the colors to an in kind of reference image we need to go click on a plus and let's go upload the file okay right here our file it's selected let, let, let's press intro search protest upload it and you notice it's different colors we'll see how reference will work on this what i want to do with this it is actually click to preview you don't copy this one we don't need copy message we want to copy image address and we'll just copy image address in this case next let's go forward slash imagine uh, paste the position of this image and you know what i need pay copy again because i just erased it so and i'm going to up to no frame up to this area and space and paste it but because we uploaded image i want to say how much of this image i want in influence by default it's be 0 0.25 and it's value going from 0 to 1 so if i have it uh, what is it iw image weight and we're going with uh, anywhere from you can actually type thousand doesn't matter but it will clip down to only value one one it will take very much in considerations of the position composition lights all this stuff but i want to affect just a coloring in some cases so i'll put it 0 0.25 or default value and we'll go press enter so this is will take a little bit time to process but you also will notice it will should affect some of this influence and just as it's working along let's go ahead you know and just uh, copy this stuff we'll paste it there and we'll put it value of one so we can compare see how the bulb will work this way and right here as it's processed you can see it's a single they stay in the middle and look on this that is actually a very nice reference of positioning so if we look it's you can see the vase right here single vase but it's giving me variations which is kind of nice to have this reference you know if you find and you don't necessarily need get reference of the image you can also just take photoshop and type circle circle positioning how you want it in some case how i done sometimes i draw two figures stick figures literally inside the photoshop put it there and it's reference work but let's look what we have right there this is our reference what we used before and you can see the flowers vase on a small table and this is approximate what color we was going before getting so let's preview what we have look right there we have table single vase and flowers in the middle it's a beautiful beautiful calm and this one even closer it's not exactly the same because we don't want copy we want the reference and you can see also it's reference some color palette blue and other ones what we have here so let's go ahead and upscale a couple of those and i'm going to upscale probably this one on the bottom see what has come up and you know what this one is look kind of distorted vase i, I want to see just what has come up so we'll go render this one as well let's go from second batch this is one with a weight one and it should have a little bit more effect and we can definitely see the more weight on the position of the um how the vase look so then we'll go just let's go select again one and four so we'll have it four images right now go render for us and this one from first batch those two ones and another one coming notice right here we have it this is uh processing so you usually can process at same time three that processing and 10 stay in a queue so the waiting till this image is finished processing and then that will start processing them as well okay so right here we have finished rendering and one thing i want to do remaster them we have it also remaster a couple of things so we, usually we just click on a button that says remaster okay and it will start remastering them right here and right there so we'll create it the other ways we also can specify if i want to remaster any specific image we can actually just take a copy of what we rendering so we can go just select like run there okay let's paste
paste that one and we can also just says hey you know what i want it it is test so we want to go in a new and i want says creative and i want up beta so i'll specify hey i want this image i want it as a new test you know we even can do test p so you don't need to just click on this button so you can specify everything in single line and what is this a test p of course it's not supported because prompt okay so let's go image it's not yet implemented so we'll go just like right there and let's go set um creative and we'll go a beta i think a beta should support this nope i beta does not even support either actually now if you read it says creative only work with test p and with image does not apply so it's fine let's go try different ways we'll just take this one copy without image which is kind of sad you know i wish it's a reference but again it's on a test one so let's go to test p and we'll do creative and it's actually kind of done this else hey okay. there you go that one it should work now okay let's see what we have right here this is our just the upscale it's going to click on original and you can see it's not bad it's have all of these elements nice painting effect kind of creating here but we also have our upscale and you know what let's make them bigger so we can compare but you already can see on the detailizations with new remastering options very nice by the way sometimes it's come up with like almost text and people say hey it's watermark or whatever the reason is why because it's a reference okay it is take somebody images or whatever all these different images and then some images you may see watermarks or everything because then ai does not understand yet it's watermarking or something it just says hey it seems like they're putting this stuff in my picture why i cannot do this so eh, just okay and let's put it there oh, look on this how beautiful it's rendering so i do like i'm actually quite a bit impressed by this new remastering options and primarily with these flowers when we created what it does okay it's done render let's click on them open original one we'll go here this one open original to preview and look on this i do like even come closer look on this details like brush stroke i mean it's a very impressive how it did it's it's literally a very nice painting support i say right here we can look gibberish maybe it's some secret ai message i don't know okay and uh, flowers of course if we look on this it's not bad but it is definitely not the resolution not not too up to this quality of new upscale with of remastering of this new algorithm which is kind of very very nice done okay let's go see our other ones that i did directly and this is just done directly without um just straight line without selecting anything you could do this way and the reason why i want to do in this notice what's happened right now i'm running in a fast mode and a fast mode it's nice but it's going against my gpu time so if i go and i type info let's go right here and you can see i already spent some little bit time um it's beginning so it's just kind of beginning but i already spent some time and it's going against problem is you need to do sometimes a render in a fast mode because if you're going to like normal image and it says hey you know what i want upscale here you'll notice it is oh it's upscaling because i'm still in fast mode so let me try this one let's go to relax mode okay that it does help when you do it but upscale work in the fast mode but if i go again and let's try to let's go find something else like upscale this one i click on look it's message up here we'll go down okay so you can see it's render but if we tried before and you can see it says hey upscale to max not available in relax mode so you kind of need to run but here's a nice things about because it is in the test mode we actually get some bonus about this because you can upscale without um paying price with a uh, fast time so for example i'm going right here and i'm going just select and you know what let's do this way we'll go with a test creative but we won't go up beta so we want to upscale this and let's go try imagine this way we'll go press it does produce a little bit slower because remember now i switch from the fast mode i switch to the relaxed ones 
Okay, so it's run updating and you can see it is in the beta mode. For some reason I decided to add face, which is okay for our test. But notice right here, if I go to upscale this, I can do upscale to that resolution without worried about uh, my fast time. So you can do this test and you can do the new uh, remastering and upscale and remaster one without spending your fast hour or GPU time. So you can render a little bit more images. I think this is just temporary till the probably collecting and testing all this data information which is um, you can still enjoying at this moment when created. Again, keep it in mind, all this function, all this keys and everything that I show you, they are at the moment of recording possible in the future. They may change it. They may be upgrade or deprecate, deprecate them or something happen else or add new ones. But at the time is what we have it. So let's go look again what we have at this moment. And you can see right here. As an image, I was a reference image. We have it our main subject painting. We have it uh, descriptive like coloring, Rococo stylizations. Usually, again, it's what I do personally. And we have it also stylization based on the artist who I want to copy. Technical information that I want to proceed. Next, we have it options where I specify my format, aspect ratio, specify some exclusions that I don't want it, like those frames and everything image um, weight for the if we reference image we need it and those is optional when we run in a test mode because we run a little bit this remastering which is run in the kind of test mode with creative and of course upscale it's up beta so those is optional and these three most likely they will go away sometime or they will be changed how they functional in this case Okay, so let's go ahead and check a couple of things. Right here is the image I created. The reason why I'm going right here to check on upscale, and you can see resolution on upscale is 2043. So it's the highest resolution. Usually the, you achieve this one if you go to upscale to max or some other ones, you can have a result, but it is give you maximum resolution for free kind of almost because of test. But be careful because some copyrights may affecting in a test or don't, or you cannot use it for commercial reasons. So how I say be, uh, be sure you're going inside and read the FAQ about the licensing and other stuff. Um, if you're interested on what prompts and how I'm using more than welcome, just go follow me. It's geek at play. Just uh, select follow. Now there you can see all the stuff that I'm posting. I do the public this work so you can accept access and see all the prompts experimentals what i'm doing with experimental and if you actually look be sure you're not just going and copy prompts be sure you just go and says command because it will involve i'll include not just the prompt it will include all of those special options i'm putting inside for thank you for watching this video i hopefully it won't be that long video but i want just showing you some new um if way you can kind of create so you can go from this type of the image the stylization that you don't want it to go to specific result that you want to achieve as a painting or whatever and it's not necessarily painting you can do with other effects but again remember what we done there and i know i'm repeating myself but just make a point subject definition of subject stylizations technical information and of course our expert rate show exclusions weight on the image if we're using any and we'll also by the way right here i don't have image but i have it weight so it will ignore it if it's no image and of course if we need to with new play with new styles and other things we'll create thank you for watching please give a thumbs up for this video if you like it if you don't like it put a two thumbs up you know subscribe to this channel let spread this video around so other people can find and hopefully it will help for them to create nice images inside the mid journey thank you